the first step is to be transparent and explain the purpose for gathering the data and what the customer will get out of it. Businesses also need to sort of think very carefully and put in place really strong protections about how they're handling this data. And then they need to understand what the uses are and how to communicate that with customers. Some of the challenges that we have with um, personal data is obviously sharing that across uh, multiple data sources. Um, being a charity, um, we, you know, that is foremost our priority. We need to build trust with uh, a number of our donors. Um, the way we do that is obviously you know, putting in place rigorous um, you know, policies, data policies that we have. Um, that comes from our legal team, of course. Um, but ensuring that um, when we share the data with third parties, that we have um, you know, the, the relevant you know, um, agreements in place to ensure that you know, it isn't misused or abused in any sort of way. But we, we've never found it a, a, an issue um, with ourselves directly. So I think businesses really have to be very open these days. They have to give their customers access to an understanding of exactly what they're doing with the data and the customers need to feel that they're getting a fair um, value exchange, if you like, that it's not just the, the company who's making money out of their data, but there's something very tangible that the customer is getting back in return for that. And I think it'll become you know, ever more important because I think a recent Gartner study said that 89% of businesses believe that um, personalization will be increasingly important for businesses, but obviously you can only do that by using a deep understanding of someone's personal data.